Grodin was in it. <laughs> was in it. It was strange because I didn't really think guest stars would ever do any. I mean, they were fine. I wanted Charlie. I, mean, I heard Charlie Grodin was going to be on, and I really thought, oh, there's a great part he could play. But no, he had to play himself, which immediately puts you back because we always had trouble figuring out. I mean, the, the year it took place, because. By the third year, we took place in 1962, but no, every, I always felt better not tell anything about it that's real because we've got our own reality. But it was about that time, and then Charlie Grodin was going to be on it. So the thought was, what is Lenny and Squiggy's reaction to meeting this actor? I said, oh, Charlie's playing an actor? Yes. What actor? Charlie Grodin. And I turned to Charlie, I said, look, I was trying to figure out how Lenny and Squee would even know who the hell you were. And if you can say, well, I was doing, you know, La Mama in New York and Off-Broadway here, and it won't do us any good because they don't know about that. But what were you, did you do anything on TV? He said, yeah, I played Cookie's, and I call him assistant, but his, I don't know, the, the, the chef, the chef's assistant or whatever it was on Rawhide. I said, okay, that's it. So I just said, that guy was the chef's friend on Rawhide, you know. It's like, my God, I don't believe that. He made the beans? Well, I don't know, he made them, you know. So none of that got into the show. Michael and I found the reality of it, and we did a great scene off stage, as is always done by Michael and I, uh, because usually our best ideas are destined for another show, I guess. So, uh, yeah, but that was the way we accepted it. When Charlie Grodin was going through that be nice to your enemy kind of thing. I don't know what some Carol Burnett went through it. <laughs> Everybody, it's a phase. Uh, so our show was about that. And I kept saying, wait, we've got Lenny and Squiggy and, and Laverne and Shirley and they're now saying, they're now having a truth thing with these, I mean, it's terrible. Our characters, it's like killing our characters to be nice. I said, forget it, Squiggy's not gonna go along with it. I say, if he does, then he's not going to be the same squiggy. You know? So there was like talk about, well, we want to, but we do it, and it, it was okay, but it didn't ring true. I kept thinking, what a shame. We have a good actor, Charles Grodin, and, and he wants to be Charles Grodin, and I want him to be the chef's assistant. <laughs> so you know, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I wanted the glory years, you know. So. If you like the boomer too, why not subscribe? And to see the full interview, check out our Patreon page to become a member. We upload new exclusive content every single week, and you can access our library easily. Thanks!